like punch sound, woman scream, Opie and Anthony. That's right. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. All right, there he goes. Club Soda Kenny. So getting back to the uh, Frankie Blue thing in our old radio station that is yeah. just... Has just been in the toilet ever since we left. Falling apart. Because they really thought they knew what they were doing by firing us and moving on. Oh, yeah. They figured they would compete with uh, other stations that are doing very well around New York. Uh, because, boy, there, there's a win situation. Go head-to-head -head against stations that are just entrenched in the market, have great ratings doing what they're doing. Because people will just change their habits like that for the same thing they could get in the place that they've been for years and years and years. Now, RuPaul is what, their morning person now? Weren't there? Was RuPaul person? Person, that's good. Oh, whatever, yeah. Morning, morning guy. Yeah. It's a guy. Morning people. parental disappointment. When I. It's uh, RuPaul, the drag queen, does mornings over there. Okay. When I sit there and you have to listen to some people go, RuPaul, <clears throat> she is so pretty. It's got a cock. <laughs> it's a guy. Well, you're a buzzkill. Mm, so then, um, <laughs> big smooth back. <laughs> so then, the old company gets the bright idea to hire this Frankie Blue guy because he was uh, he was uh, really good at KTU, I guess. What was KTU? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a dance mix yeah, station. Yeah, kind of like commercial dance music. Like dance music. So they're yeah. like, well, we'll hire the guy that made KTU great. Uh huh. And we'll we'll put him on NEW, <laughs> and he'll have the same success over here. Right. Well, so far he hasn't done anything. Except get drunk at Christmas uh, gatherings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and Earl was there, too. Yeah, our old pal Earl was here. Earl. Was, was there, I should say. And Earl did not give us his tape. I want to get on. I want to go on the record and tell you he did not have anything to do with uh, the, the, the tape we're about to play. Right. He didn't. Okay? So Frankie Blue was at the Christmas luncheon a couple days ago. A Christmas luncheon? They did a Christmas luncheon. <laughs> and I guess everyone got completely hammered. I would, too, if I was uh, working over there. Destroyed. As a matter of fact, I did many the, times. Yeah, they, <laughs> he got destroyed, everyone else. And, and with the ratings that just came out, I think he had a few extra shots. Because mm -hmm. he's probably thinking, well, oh, my God, I'm a, I'm a fraud at this point. Oh, boy. So then he goes back to the station, and he gets into some kind of argument with the DJ that was supposed to go on the air. Now, if he was a little tipsy at the time, uh, I'm thinking it probably wasn't one of those good, legitimate arguments where you have a point. I've been in arguments with drunk people. They don't usually make good points during arguments. You ever notice that? What is that? Why you gotta wear that fucking shirt? Ooh, there's a good, uh, good argument. Yeah, this one will last about 18 hours straight. Good. Yeah. So that's what he does. He goes over there, gets in a little tiff. And it's uh, the DJ that's supposed to go on the air. She pretty much runs out of the station crying or something. I don't know. I, I wasn't oh, there. Oh, boy. But something happened and she just ran out. So now someone has to do the, the radio show. So who do they get to do the well, show? Well, Frankie Blue is uh, the boss over there. He decides, oh, I, fuck her. I'll just do it. <laughs> he's going to take the mic. Oh, but he's, he's not a DJ? He's not on air? He's the program guy. Oh. The, he's a legendary, quote, programmer here in New York. You'll Was see he how, ever on the air? You'll see how legendary he is in a minute here. <laughs> and then uh, he goes, oh, fuck, I don't need her. I'll, I'll just do her shift, and I'll do uh, probably a better job. Now, he's oh. doing it for WNEW. During this, he's he's talking about KTU, which is their arch rival in competition. He's just he's just uh, he's using the KTU call letters. He makes a, he makes a mistake and actually says, you know, <laughs> on one zero two seven WKTU KTU, and it's NEW. Yeah, that's the station they're trying to beat. Yeah, oops. So, oh, they must have been loving this at KTU. I bet they play this and just laugh their balls so off. So Ben has been playing this all morning in the office just laughing like like an idiot. Like Ben. I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And Earl's there. You know, you can, Earl well, jumps Earl on was the, air the um, Earl was the producer. Board op. Yeah. He's the board op guy. The girl that does the show is supposed to do that, and Earl hits the buttons when she goes to commercials and stuff like that. He operates the board. Yeah. So he had to board op for Frankie. Who's all hammered. Right. And who's his boss. And who's his boss. So Earl, I guess you hear him chime in a couple of times, I guess just out of nervousness. And, you know, he must have been sitting there going, oh, my God, this guy's hammered. He can't even talk. He's stammering. He's forgetting words. He hiccups in one word, and it makes the word two words. <laughs> yeah. And Earl's just like you can tell he's really nervous. And then uh, you got to understand, too, that this is one of those radio stations where you talk really quickly between the music. The music's the If you're most talking more than thing. 30 seconds, you're, you know, you're not doing your job. He's talking for about four minutes here. Oh, I know. We cut it down, but it's, it, you know, we'll play about two and a half minutes of this. But he's, he's just babbling about nothing, Complete saying the mess. wrong call letters. This is the boss of the radio station that was supposed to put WNEW back on the map. Here you go.
in uh, New York Radio. The boss. So here, you know, I got to be honest. If uh, if they got Frankie Blue drunk every day to do a radio show, oh, yeah. the ratings would go through the roof. I'd listen every day. every day. Absolutely. And I hate that type of music, but that's the type of thing they should do. Just get drunks on the air. Drunk DJs. Drunk DJs. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love this song. This is the fucking boss. I love this song. He's uh... fucking hammered. And do don't think for a second that this is some kind of relaxed, laid-back delivery. Yeah, this is not uh, radio from the 70s when no. all the DJs were encouraged to talk like this. This guy's hammered. This is the type of station where, you, you know, your voice has to be way up there, like, WKTU. Yeah, Dallas high Summer energy. Everybody. Don't forget RuPaul at the Barnhead. Yeah. High your next, energy. Your next chance to win two thousand dollars coming up with RuPaul tomorrow morning, right RuPaul, here. RuPaul, let's get back to the music. Right, that's uh, the new mix. W N A W. That's the delivery you're supposed to have. Right. Andy completely messes up. You're supposed to hit the post, which is stop talking right when the vocals kick in. Oh. Yeah. He goes right over. Oh, I know. Let's <laughs> stomps on it, <laughs> and he's the boss. Uh huh. I love this song. <laughs> Nelly featuring Tim McGraw. <laughs> this is Frankie Blue. Wow. Now, you know, for the last several weeks, we've been um, <laughs> giving you a chance <laughs> to win $50,000 in cash. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That is snotted. <laughs> wow. Hey, this is Frankie Blue. This was the guy that was supposed to get any W out of the toilet. He's taking the record <laughs> off the turntable. <laughs> you think he's going to use the turntable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I take pleasure in this. God. That dumb station. They really stink. Oh. In the Mix 1027 redo, and plus win a Toyota Scion. <laughs> and I think that is going to happen tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., oh. Ricky, RuPaul, Kim will pick a winner and go to is that winner's winner? house like publishing clearance. <laughs> Publishing what? Publishing he, clearance? Did he try to say like publisher's clearing house? Yeah, publishing clearance. Publishing clearance. Oh man. Hey, I've been snotted on the air a couple of times, but oh never. Your station is cursed! Ah, the devil. Oh. Oh. Kim will pick a winner and go to that winner's house like publishing clearance. <laughs> Or whether it's a house or it's a job. We're coming we, to you, baby. We're going to find you. Girl. And we're going to reward you with $50,000 and a brand new Toyota. And um, I don't I don't see how you can not be happy about that. This is Frankie <laughs> Blue. Um, so make sure you're listening tomorrow about 8 a.m. Um, 50 grand prize winner. 50 grand prize winner. What? That means they're giving away the 50 people are going to win a grand? Wait, 50 uh, grand, grand prize, prize winner. winner. 50 winners of the grand prize? Or is it 50 grand prize winner? I don't know. What, or is it a real drunk guy on the air? <laughs> And, and when you do one of these uh, shows, you know, you have to just speak perfectly. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I know I, I speak like a, an idiot. My grammar stinks, but it doesn't really matter. It's a talk show. You just dopey go with talk the flow, show. and if I fuck up, you know, someone's going to jump on me and tell me so. But at these radio stations, everything has to be just perfect. Right. And this you're not guy. supposed to just babble and babble. you got to get back to the music. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, you guys never fuck up. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Very sweet. Just enjoy your hustler and let us do the heavy lifting here, Man, okay? Is that funny? That's right. 50 grand prize winner <laughs> of the redo contest of the winner of the Toyota Scion. Come on, baby. You know you want it. If you have qualified in the past several weeks... We're going to pick the winner tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. RuPaul's going to dip his big old hands in there, pick the <laughs> winner. and Ooh. I thought he was really going to go for it. RuPaul's going to dip his fat cock in that. He's going to put some Elmer's glue on the tip of his big fat cock. Because that's a guy, Dip you know. it into the winner and pick out one to...
<laughs> you know, when we were in the bathroom, I was holding RuPaul's fat cock. <laughs> this, is, this is the boss. I wow. love this. When a tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., RuPaul's going to dip his big old hands in there, <laughs> pick a winner, and we're going to find you. Earl lost his and mind right there. If it takes all day, it's worth the $50,000 in the car. All right, we have the armored truck. We've got the party patrol vans. We've got the car. We've got everything. But more important than that, we got the best music in town. So why don't you give it's me a call? Mike. Um, this is Frankie Blue um, for Yvonne Velasquez. And um, telephone number is, if you want to make a request, is <laughs> one eight seven seven mix 1027 So give me a call. Okay, baby? Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, baby. If you're in your car right uh, now, little chances are you're sitting in traffic. And then he goes back on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got uh, one more. This is, this is where he screws up the call letters. This is really Which fun. is just... Probably the biggest radio faux pas you could ever make yep. is screwing up those calls. And especially when you screw them up by replacing them with the competition's <laughs> call letters. Right. He's, he's supposed to, for people all over the country, say WNEW, but right. it says KTU, which is their arch yeah. rival. Pick the two stations in your city that battle it out between each other and picture one of the jocks being drunk and making the mistake of using the other station's call. So here's the boss at our old station. I'd drink, too, if I was the boss over at that shithole. Completely hammered. Ratings are in the toilet. He has to go on the air. He thought he could handle it. And this Oops. is uh, some more of him doing his little show. Mix 102.7. The new Mix 102.7. This is Frankie Blue. And I am so excited for tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> He's like all oh, the old Foster Brooks. <laughs> I'm so excited for tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. He a drunken hiccup comes out of him in mid word. Nice buzz, man. Wow, he that must, must have been have. a great Christmas luncheon. Must have been <laughs> luncheon. Well, yeah, what time was this going on? Uh, I guess a luncheon. The, well, like, he's on the air at the seven to twelve shift at night, so the luncheon was probably you know what noon one, noon to three, four maybe. Yeah. Love the nooners, man. Pounding them during the nooners. Here we go. It's Frankie Blue. And I am so excited for tomorrow. I got Ricky and Rue coming in in the morning. Putting a hand in the big old barrel and picking out a $50,000 grand prize winner. 50. The winner of the KTU Mix 102 Redo. Oh, there it is. Winner of the KTU Mix 102. Oh, where the hell do I work? Is he going to start singing Janis Joplin tunes? <laughs> wow. He oh, my is. God. This doesn't sound like just alcohol, by the way. That's my opinion. Dude, this sounds like you're fired. Yeah. This is a firing offense. Yeah, because this is the guy. This is the boss. This isn't some stupid DJ that has a Coke problem. She should be. Yeah, that you're trying to, you know, take care of. What? She should be fired for walking off the shift. What kind of the boss? Dude, it he just, told her to leave? Or did it, oh, he, he told her to leave? leave? It just shows you that the, the old place is still a fucking train wreck. Yeah, it is. It's a dump. Yeah, that was a smart move, getting rid of Opie and Anthony. The only thing that was happening over there. Even when working. you were there, it stunk, except for Ron and Fez. They, those yeah, guys no, did okay. Well, they, us and Ron and guys. Fez, we, uh, you know, we kept the ship going. Yep. They were making a lot of money off our show and Ron and Fez. They should have... They should have backed us. Instead, they got this mess. Two years later, they still, two and a half years later, they still have nothing. Some of the most entertaining programming I've ever heard out of that station, though, yeah. right here. I would I would put this guy on the air every day drunk. Every day drunk. <laughs> I would listen uh, every freaking day. And he's, quote, a legend in, in, oh. in New York radio. Wow. A fiery wreck today on our wreck cam. Boy, that's a bad one. That is a bad one today. Ooh, How embarrassed you think he is this morning if he's up yet? Oh, my God. When you wake Probably up sober and you'll over. hear it, you're like, Ugh. All hung over, shaking, feeling a little nauseous. Your head is pounding and, and your phone's ringing. Frankie. Yeah, Frankie, pick up. Pick up. Yeah, I heard your... Uh, <laughs> I heard your air last night. <laughs> what, are you stupid, you fucking drunk? <laughs> 
get a call from uh, Infinity yet? <laughs> you will. Yeah, you will. Take a couple of aspirin and get your ass out of bed, because I'm sure you'll be in a meeting today. Can you say fired? Fired. Yeah, call up Opie and Anthony. They'll give you some pointers on what to do during your time off. <laughs> you idiot. And it's not like nobody's heard this clip. This clip just hasn't been circulating through the radio circles all morning, you know? It's like... Dude, I emailed Hi, it to Frankie. everybody this morning. Frankie, it's your mom. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> uh, Dr. Phil said when you give something up to replace it with something else. So um, I was good to see you giving up the NEW call letters and replacing it with the KTU call letters, you stupid fuck. I'm your mother, so I can say that. Come on over. We'll do shots. I love you. Uh. <laughs> oh, is that great? That's just a little more here. I hear. This, I gotta hear the KTU. I thing hear again. there's a third clip. No, no, wow. this is it. No, this is the. This is all. Rumor clips. has it there's a third clip. Well, I think this at this point is when he was removed. Uh, after this break, he was removed from Who the station. Who removed him? The general manager. Oh, oh that no. is not good. The GM came in and took him off the air. He's yeah. the Mac Daddy at Holy every radio shit. station. Well, Doesn't who, go much higher than the GM. Who finished the shift? I would assume they probably just played music. Probably and just sweepers. played music, and Earl pushed the button. That's I good. When your big boss has to come into the studio, and you're supposed to be in charge of all your DJs and tell you to get the oh, fuck off the air. Get off. You had are it. so fired. Go home. Fired. Come out like the manager going to the mound. Just get out. Get out. Do you got the uh, KTU line in there again? Um, Did yeah. you rewind it a little? I got to hear him I screw up on the calls that. again. Yeah. He, he's supposed to say WNEW yeah. once again. As winner. The winner of the KTU Mix 102 <laughs> Redo Contest. And also you win a Toyota Scion. Now what's going to happen is they're going to pull, they're going to they're gonna put their hand in the barrel, they're going to pick out a winner, and then they're going to fight that winner. And that winner will be rewarded with everything. Mix 1027, Frank. He's yeah. stepping all over. Yeah. He's supposed to be done by the time those lyrics kick that in. That is like the most important thing in, in that type of radio. In that type that, of radio? It, man, you got to hit the post. Yeah, like the, it's called hit the post. Right, exactly. What did he say? We're going to fuck the winner? That sounded like it. Oh, is that where they thought he cursed? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't even notice that until we just listened to Yoda it. Yoda Scion. Now what's going to happen is they're going to pull. They're going to they're gonna put their hand in the barrel. They're going to pick out a winner, and then they're going to fight that winner. Fight? What? <laughs> what was that? I think he said fuck. They're going to fuck that winner. I think he was going to say fuck it and was able to stop just in time. Fight that winner. What? That's not a word. Hand in the barrel. They're going to pick out a winner. And then they're going to fight that winner. And that winner will be rewarded with everything. Mix 1027, Frankie Blue, what's happening? <laughs> Tries to have the cool little thing like he's out. Like, yeah, I meant to step all over the vocals. <laughs> Frankie Blue, what's happening, baby? All I know is uh, the FCC should hear about that. Ooh, and they're going to fight that winner. At least you guys never said that. Huh? Right in the asshole. Frankie Blue, baby. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> they're going to stick it in the barrel, and they're going to pull it out, and fuck the fucking fucker. <laughs> Frankie Blue, baby. On KTU. W-N-E double... W. The Opie and Anthony. KNBC. <laughs> yeah. On the Rock of Boston. BCN. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, on you're... WDRUNK. Well, this story is developing, but I, uh, I do believe he's fired. Fired. How long has he been there? Not too long, man. He was supposed to be the big hire that was going to turn around that crap hole. That was it. He was going to be the guy. That's yeah. the turnpike, that big fire. Jersey oh, Turnpike. You know what that's got to be doing to traffic. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. We have we have audio Ridgefield. of the uh, general manager coming in to mm -hmm. Frankie Blue. You're fired. Do you have the audio of Frankie Blue after he was fired? The, um, if uh, I may. Uh, a little more. Um, All right. I'll... Yeah. You're fired. Wow, you had to tell him twice. And uh, trying to console him, I guess. It's over, Johnny. Oh. And then uh, Frankie Blue. Okay. 
Have you got some Frankie Blue audio here? Yeah. Don't you do it! Oh. Don't you! Oh. I got nowhere else to go! Oh. I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> I got nothing else. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love when it's someone else, man. Oh, <laughs> it's the best. Oh, it is a treat when it's not us. All right. Well, we have to take a break. What is this? Well, all right. What's the problem? Oh, boy. What's the problem? What's the, the em- problem? The emperor is not happy with his coffee. Oh, no. Are we going to have to break into uh, Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. Look at that cup. What, 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 what brand is on that cup? I don't know. Um, it doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Where do we get our coffee every day? I like Starbucks. I like Starbucks. And I don't like supporting the savages, savages. that run most of these delis. You're no, insane. Yup. You yep. betcha. You might be right. Yeah. Want to taste this? You want to taste this? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that's really nice. What, 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 Throw it against the wall. I'm not against I'm a diva. I'm on Starbucks coffee. You betcha. Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. I know Starbucks is a big world order type of thing. At least they're not funding terrorism. I was walking down the street and some construction guy was shouting at me. Hey, show me your cans. So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus.